is locking in his foot now. And he's getting more flexibility out of it. And it, but it feels kind of tight on the outside, correct? Yep. Okay, so feels tight on the outside. What we're going to do is we're going to take it to the inside. Take oh, this is the bad one. So this one nice. Take the left foot, the left foot the roll end. it to the inside, put slight pressure on it to the degree that it relieves what's going on in the left foot. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's something there, yeah, it's like, uh, it is, I can leave here. So if we think about it, if we have a foot, we got the bone in the lower leg on top of the foot, and it's more difficult for him to roll it out, that means the bone is, sh is shifted in a way, let me think about this, <laughs> it's shifted towards the inside. This bone is shifted towards the inside. If he tries to rotate the foot out, the bone, the mechanics of what's going on in the foot and in the lower part of the leg are resisting that rolling out. So we go with what's go what's easier. We roll it in, which resets the neurology that is causing it to be difficult going out. He waits for that neurological shift. That could be the speed of the reflexes, 280 miles per hour, or breath changes, mind wanders, twitching, heat, cold, whatever that is, and then recheck it, and now it's different. 